just checked. These are a talk. <laughs> Fucking believe it or not. <laughs> oh, great. Um, they also, there's the gear shift stopper. I think I took out. Yep. That's on this side. Um, there we go. Put that there. Don't fucking hit any of it. So that's a stopper. You can't fucking see. Excellent editing. Cameramanship. Whatever. That's this little fucker that goes here. And where is it? In my pile. Oh, there it is. So it was in my bath of cleaning stuff soaking stuff this goes to 23 i wish the computer wasn't so fucking far away uh, i might put it on a laptop it's got loctite and it's uh 23 newton meters and it's an m10 by the look of it Do you know what I need? And some coffee. I'm going mental. It was literally sat right next to me. I couldn't see it for like five minutes. So, 23 newton meters. Uh, people will ask. They always do. Matt, uh, what torque wrench do you use? I have this. I've got a Tang one. I've got a couple actually. But this is a TTI 50. It says made in England of all places. This is a Norbar, it's a snazzy, snazzy one. I like this a lot. And if I had the right socket size socket for it, I'd like it even more. Um, <laughs> for fuck's sake, I've got this little wooden tray in a sense with loads of sockets on and three eighths isn't on there uh, for some reason. Right, 12 mil, 3 eighths. Why is it gone? Why is it, where are all 3 eighths gone? Right, there 3 eighths. 12 mil? Thank fuck for that. Jesus. Right. <laughs> so yeah, some people, they want the <laughs> dicks. Oh, I also need this. We'll get this out in a minute. But, engine, if you're going to do engine stuff, I hate the word engine building. I like the word engine assembling. Engine building is something completely different. I don't care who argues with me. This is engine assembly. Um, any road. It needs some Loctite. 23 newton meters. Um. <laughs> I think there's a bit of Loctite still in there. I haven't chased this thread. I completely forgot about it. I'm not going to. It will be fine. Bottomed out, pretty much. There we go. Right. If you put Loctite on and you start threading it in, you can't fucking talk it up later. I don't. I've seen people, loads of people do it. It's fucking dumb. They'll like, they'll put Loctite on the nuts, put the Loctite on the things, and then they'll go around and fucking um, talk them up later. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Fucking spastic. It's not the way it works. Now, a lot of these Loctites say that they take 24 hours to fully cure. What that means is it's not like it's sat there waiting. It's not like it takes a long time. What it means is that they will guarantee that it is cured after 24 hours. And that's all that means. How fast... It actually cures I would love to know and we will probably do something to test one of these days right 
there's a bit of Loctite that's a tiny bit of Loctite squidged out. I want to get rid of that. And what I want to do the whole paint pen thing is you want to I'm going to put weight on it because it was a weird angle. Um, you want the paint pen I'll try and show you one better in a better way. Um, the jet. Do the jet. <gasps> Master zoom. There we go. So we talk this bitch on. Well, I've tightened it. Let's put it that way. We're locked tight on it. So what I want to do is put some paint pen across all of it. That's meant to, oh fuck sake, I hate when it does that. But it's done. Right, it's fucking done. Right, you want it to. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> oh shit. Right, what you want it to do, some of them are really pains in the arses. It's when you press the pen down. Some of them are fucking easy. Some of them are right knobs. This one is an easy one, obviously. But a bit of pen that goes across. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Honestly, right, the last pen I had, it was just, it would never come out, ever come out. Um, so what you want is you want it to go across the fitting and what it's mounted to. So, you can also see if it's moved. Well, it's not moved. It's also um, been tampered with. Oh, you fucking done it again. Right, this pen can't be trusted. This pen cannot be trusted. It's just jizzing out. <laughs> Every fucking time. We've got another one. I've got bloody loads. Actually, it's getting older one. There we go. This one's had a good life. <laughs> this will probably be better. I think that's too fresh. Um, yeah, there we go. See, straight away, enough. Enough comes out. You can't see. Oh, you've missed that. It jizzed out went fucking everywhere. That pen, go away. Don't like it. Um, yeah, you want it to go across both. You know... Um, in aircraft stuff, oh fuck me, it's, you can stake things, you can do all sorts, you know. In aircraft stuff, you would, you would, they've got stencils where they'd go across there like that. But you know what I mean? Is it going to focus, you fuck, or not? Get it to go across both. And then you can see if it's been tampered with or whatever. And then these other ones, I'm not too arsed about them really. I just want to put a mark. Oh, fuck me, this pen works fine. Oh, God. Yeah, this pen works great. I'll do... <laughs> let's let's pretend I didn't do that. Let's pretend I didn't do that. And, oh, fuck me. And on this jet, let's do the real... The real uh, demo. <laughs> so... What you do with these pens is you get your cloth, just make sure you get rid of any residual uh, Loctite or whatever. And then, without getting in the way of the camera, I just come in like that. Right, like that. And it goes across both. Right, if you can see that. Let me... There. Oh, you're blowing out. Maybe they come back out. It likes zooming to the f-stop of the camera, obviously. There you go, across all of it, like that. Yeah, fuck me, that's difficult. <laughs> I'm definitely not a cameraman, at all. Fucking 
you might have it. Right. <laughs> Little wire brush. Don't do this over your fucking parts. That would be dumb. Try and just clean up some of these threads. Like so. There's one. Clean up the other one. And this is... I can't remember where I got these brushes from. There's a brass one, a nylon one, and this stainless one. Little shitty brushes, right? Fucking little fantastic buggers. I'm using the stainless one to actually get in there and do something with its life. Check the manual. There is no... Um, no talk settings for these it just says nothing it just says reinstall oh my god for fuck's sake uh loctite daddy oh as you notice i put the loctite on straight away and then tighten it down straight away i don't fanny around all right That'll fucking centre when I tighten the other one. Um, because it lock tight isn't instant, but I like to just get it in there. Stop fucking around. Oh God, is it turn that around? Now they're both in there. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> There, a bit of fluff. Right, that's them. And with these, not too bothered about them backing out, but what I will do is get the old paint pen across there, across there. Same kind of thing, you see. That's probably a better example. That's, a zoom. that's probably a better example of what I'd want to do. <laughs> Should have started with that, dickhead. <laughs> uh, this one here, you can see that this one here this requires two of these little tab ones that one is the one that's different I think that one goes in there oh ten point fuck me that's hardly holding on Jesus is that right I can't see from here any road so these have a stop I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can't see. Let's zoom. So in here, you'll see there's a stop. It's that little post. That sort of stop stops it rotating. Isn't that cool? So it stops these shaking themselves out of position, alignment, what you want to say. Uh, like I said, it's very important you get these right. These ones here are countersunk because they need to miss uh, the gearbox. You know, the gearbox swinging around, and uh, you do not want that clapping into that. <laughs> uh, so, like I say, it's very important. I can't. It's just not this fits Willie. I know. You know, some most people should get this right, but uh, after watching uh, guys on YouTube do these things and having seen things in real life of machines and engines and stuff get trashed um, because someone didn't do that is uh, mighty painful so get that in there with the old lock tight the problem is is there isn't a um, Camera, your camera's right where my elbow wants to be. Oh, well. No one's forcing you to do this, Matt. Well, actually, and there might actually be someone doing this. That seems to only grab. Really? Really? Have I got this right? Honestly, right? That just seems insane. It 
It's all right. It's all right. I am insane. <laughs> That's not for that. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing, for fuck's sake. So I put that one in there, and it's not for the you fucking div. This is obviously for something else. What goes in there? Something goes in there. Not this, turns out. Turns out it's not that. What does go in there? This is a really good question. It's not the selector fault rods. What does go in there? Good question. I'll just repeat myself. Um, but yeah, something goes in there. I uh, will investigate. I am for these little these little bits that are individual for each engine. I always can you know you always check out the manual. Always, um, just fucking always. Oh, I'm about to put lock tight. You did. Uh, Locus Titus, where's it gone? It's there. Oh, I can see where that one goes, I think. As soon as I get to this bit and put that whatever goes in there, I'll be like, no, duh. Are you fucking wrong? And I'll feel stupid. There we go. Before someone asks, no, they don't do tightening versions of these impact jobbies. <laughs> you fucking belting it just to tighten it up. Belting the living shit out of it just to tighten it up. Um, I have no idea how long, how many videos this is going to be. I actually no idea. I am just going to go through it talking about all the reasons why and reasons why not and stuff like that and putting retaining clamps that hardly touch the bearing which was suspicious um, but only just grab all of the bearing um, why why is that there Matty I'm like, I don't know maybe I've done something wrong turns out it doesn't go there something else does Right, so that's them. Over here, we have one tab, which I imagine, I imagine, is this one that goes in there. I imagine that's right. Let's hope so. Uh, uh. Yeah, let's hope so. So, another splodger lock height. Put that retainer on there. Put that. That doesn't seem right either. What is going on? It doesn't seem right because why would it need to be flat? There's, on this case, there is nothing else I can see that requires one on the other side. Apart from that weird one. On this one, just doesn't seem like it grabs the bearing very much. Someone's done this before, they're screaming at the fucking TV going, yes, Matt, it's that one, or it's not that one. I'm trying to check. Ah, there's a retainer up there. Oh, it could be that one. Be that one. But then saying that, I've got a little small one with a peg, with a with a, a thing, which is probably that one. Let me just go and check. Well, I can. I think I can see it from here. Which one? Right, the big, the gear with the two holes in the finger. This one has the flat one. Oh, that was lucky. So that one goes there. Fuck me. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thunk it? Because of course it does, you div. 
the drive for the sprockets there. When I envisage it in my fucking head of where things go. Yes, of course that makes sense. Duh. Yeah, because that's the... This shaft... Oh, fucking off. This shaft, which is the uh, sprocket drive for the um, cam gears, cam shafts, is um, there. So you've got to have that flush. So in here, this one is this one, which seems to fit a bit better. Maybe that's the one that goes there, Matt. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Help me, Jesus. It's not very exciting, this is it yet. But people said, we want to see you do something. Well, guess what, fuckheads? Isn't this something? <laughs> Yay! Is that bearing? Is that bearing seated properly? Because that seems like it was kind of stuck out. Yeah. So I can go around and look at the bearing down the sides. When I lift that up, I look with my own two eyes. Yeah. That is sat down properly, seated properly. Um, so, yellow pen time. Just quickly, it's just a, like I say, it's a good habit to say, been there, done that. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. You know what I mean? So, if I see one that I haven't, I can then query it. You know what I mean? Say, did, did I do that one? Did I actually do that one? Am I going fucking insane? Yes. <laughs> Yes is the answer. Right then. So. Uh, what's next? Uh, what is next is the... There are stuff like... Um, I'll pull you out a minute. There are stuff like... There's a pressure feed. There's a pressure feed screw that needs to go in here. There's one that needs to go in there. There's a fucking all this shit. This can all be begotten from the outside. Right? I'm not bothered about that. The only thing I'm bothered about is that. What the fuck is that for? It doesn't have an oiler. I don't think. Does it have a drip oiler? I don't fucking remember if it did. Is it cross drilled into there? Probably. Um. <laughs> ah, there is the. Could probably put that in there. For some reason, I'm just drawing a blank. Where does that even go? There's the um, pressure fucking jobby jobby. Oh, it's not. It's on the outside. It's on the outside. Sorry. It's on the outside of the cases. It's not this one. It'll be this one. It's on the clutch side. Yeah. No, it's alright. So the pressure release valve goes in there. I don't need to worry about that just yet. Um, again, you can get that from the outside. That's literally not a problem whatsoever. Um, dowels. So, I think there are these ones. Are these the right size? Well, I've got two of them, so let's hope so. Um, nope, not that one. It's the size up. Not that one. Not that one. The size up. No, not that one. Fuck me. How many dowels have I got? Is this from the same engine? <laughs> oh no. I wish I'd imagine that. Right, so I've got. Ah, what are these long ones? Oh, it'd be the long ones. Duh. So there's two long ones. I just wasn't looking at them in the, in the correct way. I was like looking at all the ones that are the other sizes. Ah, I should. Uh, these have been in the um, 
Oh, WD40, fuck's sake, I couldn't get it out. Could not get that out. Should make sure these are dry. And the reason why is because they've got holes. <laughs> and I don't want the WD40 leaking out of the holes because we're about to put, say, about her. We're going to put silicone. That's the back one there, like that. You can always tell you cleaned your holes out, which I usually do. I usually get a, a very stiff, like, it's almost like a, a pull through brush if you know your rifles and stuff. Um, it's almost like one of them brushes. And I go in there and clean out the holes, like a brass brush. Um, that one. Oh, we should probably put this, which is left hand side. This is left hand side. Left hand case. Put that one in there. Put this one in here. There we go. So yeah, make sure your bum holes are clean. Um. Whew, right, so. Bit of dirt there, what the fuck is that? Just, see I can see bits of paper towel. Snacking sure. I know I really shouldn't use paper towel, but sometimes it's just the best thing to soak up stuff. Uh, oil pumps in. The other the, the drive gear can be done from that side, that's fine. Dowels are in. So we're going to load everything into the left hand casing. I have to put the casing up on wood because the crank nose probably won't make it through without hitting the thing. So I've got some wood covered in cardboard. Aren't you lot fucking lucky? <laughs> and then we literally just put it on top, right? Put it on top of that. And then so we can literally just lay everything in. Um, and what we've got to do is, you put, let me just move the camera actually, let me move the fucking case if you did get it. So we've got the dowels in, and we'll put the goo on this side. And it's going to be two shafts, input and output shaft, uh, select a drum, select a forks, with the forks and all that shit in. This is not in order, just telling you what needs to go in. Um, this thing, this funky, this funky, funky thing. And it comes in from the bottom, which is a pain in the fucking ass. You can, I believe, leave that out. So we'll probably leave that out because that's, like I say, it'll just slide straight in. It is designed here to miss everything, which is, I think, I showed in the original Thailand video where we can see how close it actually was. So loads of sticky lube, cranking, selector drum, all that shite on that side. I want to find out what this fucking bolt's for. I will remember. Uh, there's stuff like on the manual, there's the pressure release valve, shit like that. Don't need a pressure release valve, that can be done from the outside. So basically what you want to do is get yourself just the minimum you need to stick together. It's like in the order of the manual, there is this oil seal, which is the output shaft oil seal, which is a twat. And there's also this oil seal, which is for the clutch, which goes on the back of there. That goes in as well. And you don't need to put, these can be put in afterwards, right? Um, there's nothing stopping you from just driving them in from the outside because they're that one and that one they're two shielded ones all right then um, I just need to go and grab the transmission it's over there um, assembled and just bring that over and then oh, I want to go and find out what that is first um, so I don't know where the splits in these videos I've been yabbering on for quite a while but I still don't know where the splits in these videos are going to be so this might be one it might not be one Let's just crack on and just keep on going.